The cash register at Gino and Carlos Cocktail Lounge in San Francisco's North Beach neighborhood outdates most of the patrons. It's solid. You can't pick it up and run away with it. It's reliable. It never breaks. It's simple. It looks cool. My father used that register when he was a teenager. But registers like these from the 1930s could make the endangered species list as more and more businesses favor modern technology. Do you want to sign that with your finger? Yeah. Cheryl Burr, the owner of San Francisco's Pinky's Bakery, is testing out Square, a credit card reader that plugs into the audio jack of a tablet or smartphone for point-of-sale purchases. They have a lot of kinks to work out still, but in general, it's a good program. The customers really seem to enjoy it. They think it's kind of a cool tech thing that we're doing, and it kind of adds to the buzz about Pinky's Bakery. But there are some drawbacks. Square takes 2.75% per transaction. There's no option for paper receipts, only email and text, and the system depends on a strong, reliable internet connection. We'll give it a chance for probably a full year and see how they can make more improvements. And if they don't, then we may go back to the old way. If I have the Square app open on my phone, it will sense when I'm close to a Square-enabled establishment, popping my profile up on the iPad and making the transition that much smoother and quicker. Square definitely has been making some strides. It's got the $4 million a day in daily transactions. That's still a really small portion of credit card transactions globally, but it's making headway. Do you ever consider switching to something more modern like the UI? For what reason? We love our register. In San Francisco, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.